Hi, this is Rachel from TLC Inspirations, and today we're going to be making ribbon rose earrings. Pretty cute, right? <clears throat> I'm using a quarter inch satin ribbon, um, and I've got scissors, I've got hot glue, and I have earring posts that have a cup on them. If you search for them online, um, look for an ear post cup, and these should come up. Uh, mine are silver plated, so they're pretty inexpensive, but you can get them in silver, in gold, um, brass, you know, plated, however you want them. Um, but this is what I've used for this tutorial. All right, let's get started. Okay, we're going to try and keep our ends somewhat even, and we're going to start this by folding one side over the other. And we want to keep a 90 degree angle on each fold. And it's just one piece over the other accordion style. So it's not very complicated. And sometimes I like to turn it because it's just easier. I do get a little bit of slippage on this because of the type of ribbon I'm using. Something out of maybe a thinner or different material may not slip as much. I do about 15 fold overs or until I have about an inch left of ribbon. If it's easier to turn it and fold it then do that. Okay, I think we're just about there. I have about an inch left on the uh, inch left on this side, and I'm going to hold both ends and let go of the rest. And when I hold my ends, I'm going to choose my short end, and I'm going to slowly and carefully pull it down. until I have a rose-like scenario going on. And then I'm going to kind of hold the rose like this, kind of squish it down in my fingers, and I'm going to knot the ends. And when I knot, I am not going to do it too tightly. If you pull too tightly, you will pull the rose out. So keep it loose. You want it secure, but you, you don't want it so tight that it throws everything else out of whack. I'm doing this kind of one-handed, but... Okay, so I want to maintain my rows, so I'm not going to pull it any tighter than that, and I am going to make it a square knot so it doesn't come loose. We have our little rows, but we have not um, cut off the ends yet. If you want a little extra security on the back, I would go ahead and just dab a little bit of glue to hold it in place. And once you've done that, go ahead and clip off the ends. Okay, and then we're going to put a little dollop of glue inside the cup of the earring post and pop in your earring. Okay, the one thing about these roses is they are created in layers. So one thing to keep in mind is that the layers will lift up like around the rose. So what I do is I put a little glue inside there and just kind of to keep the layers together so it doesn't come apart. So it's pretty simple. Anywhere where you feel the layers might pop up, just give it a little bit of glue and move on. 